Hello everyone, and welcome to another unboxing. It's a Hoover, and I think this dates from the early 2000s, um, or maybe the very late 90s. It's a Hoover Discovery bagless machine. It's made in the EC, and it's model T7805001. It says best of British on it. So, I think this would have been around in the shops the same time the Hoover Vortex was. The upright, the upright that Dyson sued Hoover over. Right, I think this is supposed to be factory sealed. Now, I did place a bid on this item on eBay, and I didn't win. But about a week later, after not winning the auction, I got a message from the seller offering me a second chance because whoever won the auction didn't pay for it which unfortunately does happen quite a lot on uh, eBay right well it's a little bit broken the old uh, polystyrene now I'd forgotten that I actually got one of these not the same color and it'd be interesting to see if it's um, what the differences are um, the one I unboxed earlier on my channel and to this date you haven't seen it but it had a turbo head and everything so I'm not sure if this is more um, basic we'll see so didn't really it's not a lot of information that's a little bit uh, damaged there's not a lot of information about the discovery on the internet and if you just if you type in Hoover discovery you'll probably see the cordless discovery Hoover seemed keen on reusing names for cleaners I mean they obviously they use the turbo power name again but with two instead of one word turbo power they used it turbo power they've used the freedom name several times and this discovery they've used several other vortex have used whirlwind so these are the instructions now there was and I've never seen one there was actually a remote control version of this I think it had an infrared or radio frequency remote. This won't be anything like that, unfortunately. Right, this is fresh, fresh from the van, so it's all very cold. So here we have the wand with this bolted on tool caddy that holds the three small tools. And it is, it's gonna be quite stiff, isn't it? It is supposed to be a telescopic wand, but that does not want to move at the moment. I might have to wait for things to warm up. Here's the hose. And it is, I think, it's all very dusty. It is factory sealed, according to the seller. But this, it's got a, it's got a very familiar farmyard odour. So it's come from that cellar that uh, hasn't stored their cleaners. Yes, it is a hose that's wider at the cleaner end than it is at the handle end. So they've been doing this to increase suction long before manufacturers were doing it to um, improve the efficiency after the new EU regulations. Uh, it's not that long a hose, but it's not too short. Got another bit of a a leaflet there telling you all well all the boxes are ticked it's quite a lot of different model numbers actually isn't there here on the discovery range I'm not sure which one was this I told you didn't I uh, T7805 uh, so oh that's 850 oh I thought for a minute no it's the T7850 that has the infrared remote control the T7805 has the electronic speed control washable HEPA a standby function with the uh, parking bracket and it's just a standard nozzle so I'm wondering which one I've got I think the one I must have unboxed earlier is the T6750 because that's showing it has a turbo nozzle there is an electric nozzle shown but no boxes ticked I don't think we got many electric nozzle cleaners right right it's all broken the polystyrene anyway so here are the, the three small tools I won't get, get them all out 
you can see those in more detail on my other video very short stubbly crevice tool there a very nice upholstery tool and a small dusting tool this is a decent nozzle oh it's, oh, it's plastic based i will open this looks very uh, like the nozzle you get with henry's nowadays but not a metal base i thought it might have had a metal base this age of cleaner but it's a nice nozzle better than uh, the nozzle supplied with a lot of hoover cleaners nowadays oh that's different it's got a sort of a felt pad at the back so i assume that that felt pad yes it does that felt pad lowers when you press on the um, pedal there and you've got a brush at the front as well and litter pickers side suction channels of course so yeah that's a nice quality made nozzle and they fit with a pip fitting hoover's famous pip fitting but it's at the side instead of being at the the front and basically you put them on by twisting them until they lock in place there we go so that's the uh, carpet and floor tool i think this has i'm not sure if it's got a higher wattage motor than the one i opened previously i'm not sure it's a different color that's for sure oh dear me And we've got the Hoover service plan here to extend your guarantee. You've got a year's guarantee and a five year parts guarantee. Plus you can extend it for two years to include the labor costs. And that's stuck to there. Costs you 31 pounds 80 for a vacuum cleaner or 34 80 for a wet and dry cleaner to um, extend the cover, I'm just seeing if there's a date on here. We might be able to date it. As I say, I think it's in the it's in the early 2000s, I would say. I'm not gonna try and rip that off because it's actually stuck, stuck to that. Right, here's the cleaner. Yeah, it's all a bit scuffed up, isn't it? But. Uh, yeah, it's not used. It's just been in storage for a long time and not uh, well stored. Well, that should all wipe off. But yes, it's got the Eco box, the no bag. I did have a much earlier video. I had an Amigo, which wasn't um, designed to be sold in the UK. It had a European plug on. The um, Someone on eBay was selling them a long time ago. Unfortunately, I sold it, but it was a bagged version um, and it was called um, Amigo, which was like a pets version. The bags were tiny, but the bags are much better than this silly eco box, which is basically a solid plastic box. Well, not a solid, it's a plastic box that is porous. So it allows the air to, to pass through it and in theory it holds on to the dirt. Carefully I'm having to peel off this black tape. It's quite a robust feeling vacuum this actually. This is obviously before they started making the cleaners in China. There was a version, which again I had, but sadly sold, called the Octopus, which was this shape. The Octopus was all singing and dancing. It did have, I think, I seem to remember, it did have a radio remote, but it also had a, um, a special hose, which I do actually have. You can buy them separately. I have one for my uh, sensory. And basically it was a hose within a hose, so you could use it normally, and then you flick a switch on the hose and then you can pull out an internal stretch hose so to reach up the stairs and when you finished cleaning you flick the lever and the suction pulled pulled the internal hose back into the external hose and then you sort of 
locked it in place. I'll demonstrate that um, if I haven't done so already on my uh, sensory. This is always going to be a bit awkward. It was, oh, there we go. Do you turn it all the way or just, I don't know, I think you just turn it to there. Oh no, I've done it wrong again. So yeah, there's no surprises here. This is just more or less the same as the one I unboxed apart from the tools. We've got a washable pre-motor filter that just slides in there. And we can see, we can't, we can just about see the motor behind there. Let's just put that back. So that slots into there. And then we've also got a washable exhaust filter behind this very big grill. Again, that's going to be, there's always tricky to open these. They always seem to stick on one side. There we go. So we've got a bit of a sponge diffuser and then under that we've got the very big square HEPA. The motor obviously completely sealed inside there. A little bit more sound insulation. It's very loose though. Oh, it's still, yeah. It's not stuck on, but I don't think it was ever stuck on because there's no sort of glue remains. So that goes which way? I think it goes that way. Yeah, so let's have a look at this eco box. So I believe you could wash this in a dishwasher. But yeah, it's a very odd sort of material. It looks solid but it isn't. It has microscopic, well, or very small holes all the way through this. And you can see that that's where it connects up when you put it in the machine. The dirt enters through here and comes up here. So it's not really cyclonic, it's very crude. It's basically just replacing a paper or a fleece bag with this plastic box. I don't know if there's any way of retrofitting a bag to this. It is possible I suppose. There might be some sort of little bag holder I could get because this infinitely would even with a tiny bag that the bagged version came with it's going to be better than the silly eco box which uh, I think was prone prone to trouble. I seem to remember when I owned one of these beforehand uh, when I had my previous collection. I could never work out how to do this properly. Um, <laughs> So basically you have to empty that and then you pop the, you're supposed to pop the lid on before you put it back in the machine. You're supposed to couple this. You see there's a big seal all the way around. So in theory, it should. Now there we go, that's it. So that's how you'd have it once you've emptied it. So it is locked into place. So then you slide it into the cleaner push it down and I think you turn it yes you turn it all the way around like that again press it down and it clicks there we go yeah and that's in there you've got your variable speed there's a container full indicator here on off switch cord rewind at the back we've got the parking bracket which yes it does have a little micro switch so when the machine's on if I was to park the nozzle there it should turn off automatically and I think it will start again when you uh, lift up the nozzle it's one of those very thin cables we haven't seen the wattage well it says 1800 watts doesn't it uh, but it says it's got a 400 air watt suction power and it may well have 400 air watts of suction power probably at the cleaner end but with the um, dust box empty i expect it will reduce suction as the dust box fills up but yeah very thin cable on this i do like this it's got a slight um, metallic fleck in this red color so I don't know if we can date it by this label, but it's a Hoover model T7805001. The serial is 37654217. The 
some other numbers 0218 0195 uh, made in the EC so I, I think it's Camber slang Scotland but they, Hoover did also this time I believe they still had a factory in Portugal I think it was Lisbon so it's possibly made in made there I'm not sure I don't know why if it was made in Scotland why didn't they put made in the UK but anyway so yes it's a a maximum 8, 1800 watt type BSO4 you've got uh, a little swivel caster there that's your storage bracket really there for your wand and at the front is a little closure so when you remove the hose that closes over not sure oh yes that's minimum let's plug it in it should work obviously we've got quite an unusual shaped molded on plug there it all looks okay apart from it needs a bit of a wipe down right fingers crossed it works familiar that familiar smell I don't know what it is about this cellar where on earth these cleaners have been stored but it's just got that sort of manure smell it doesn't last though it isn't the smell of a new vacuum trust me because I know what a new vacuum smells like and it's as I said I don't know where it's been stored it's going to be stored far better in my uh, ownership that goes in there just clicks in like that but yeah it's quite a, it's quite a biggish cleaner but one thing about these they do feel pretty solid you know I think they would take the knocks it's, it's not doesn't feel like it's a brittle plastic um, it's, I've got it on maximum I'm just gonna see if it's got the uh, soft start feature yes indeed it does it took quite a while to ramp up didn't it it's a very soft start now what i'm going to do because i've got uh, i've now got my little vacuum gauge so uh i'm not sure how we could convert the um what the gauge says into air watts but it'd be interesting to see every new vacuum from now on i'm hoping to uh, just do a measurement at the hose end and at the cleaner end just to see how powerful this is with some cleaners though that have a relief valve and I think this one does now if they've got a relief valve when you actually block the end off now is it that way that's it that's how you do it to take the whole thing out uh, oh no it isn't I thought it was in fact this one doesn't it, hmm. but a lot of vacuums have a relief valve so if you use them when they're blocked or the bags fall the valve it's normally quite a simple thing with a spring it opens and it allows air through to stop the motor overheating that's it so if obviously you lock off the end and you keep if you keep your hand on the end of a vacuum and don't let air to flow through the motor will soon overheat a lot of cleaners will have a thermal cutout to stop the machine and to stop the motor from being damaged but it's not a, not something that you should really do on a regular basis okay I'm just gonna nip upstairs and get my valve my vacuum measurement gauge and just see out of interest how much suction power this has got with an empty eco box <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that seemed to peak at around 120, which I haven't used this on many vacuum cleaners, but so far this is the winner. That is, I think that's pretty impressive. So that's 120 inches of water, so that's water lift. Wow, that is, that is a lot. Obviously it's at the cleaner end. I can't see it being too different, to be quite honest, through the hose. Let's pop the hose in. Now, it might lose a bit of suction. I'll have to put my finger over. You can see here where it connects to a nozzle. Even when I put that over, because there's only a very small hole on these. So even when I put that there, it's going to lose some suction through that piece. So I'm just going to have to put my thumb over that. But it was 120 at the cleaner end. A short length of hose, I don't think is going to make much of a difference. So as you can see at the hose end, it was a fraction under 120, a couple of notches under 120. And of course, if I could measure at the actual business end of the cleaner, it probably would lose a few more points. But that's pretty, pretty powerful really. Obviously, it's a new cleaner with an empty dust box. Oh, well, before I give a quick go, I will demonstrate one of these, um, a full demo. I'm not sure if it'd be this one or the other. It might be this one. Um, no, that's that's okay. Oh, there we go. I don't know. It must have, must have been the cold. It's warmed up. That wasn't moving at all. But now, oh, that's nice. That works. Yeah, still a reasonable cleaner, this, I think, for the time, apart from the abysmal eco box. Um, I expect people that owned these soon found how messy they were to empty. But you never know. There may be somebody using one of these to this day. It probably would have lasted these. Well, these feel fairly solid. <coughs> it's very awkward to get on. Hang on. Twisting this round. Seems to be a bit of um, strain on the plastic already. I'm not going to I'm not going to fully put it in because it uh, it's fine. Now, I'm just going to pick up the little bits of polystyrene that has been left on the carpet. One thing I haven't checked is to see whether the on off switch works in the parking slot. So I'll turn the cleaner on again and we'll see if it'll switch off when I park the wand and cleaning tool. Yes, turns off. Will it turn on? now when I release the nozzle. Now this was going to be the part of the video where I pressed the auto cord rewind and would see all this cable 
retracting easily into the machine, but <laughs> doesn't work. Well, ah, oh, right. No. Now maybe if I was to let this cleaner run a bit longer and let it warm up, it's possible I assume this cable reel will have some grease in it and the grease has probably gone hard. So it's possible that um, if it's used a bit longer and warms up, the grease might soften up and the cord rewind may work. It worked on the other version I have, but yeah, it's, it might go in eventually. Okay, I've had it running for a little while and it's certainly warmed up and I think I had a little bit of a result off camera, so hopefully it's going to perform for the camera this time. Oh. <laughs> come on, you work yes, come on, you worked earlier. It did start going in quite well. I mean, there we are, that's it. As I said, it could well be the grease used in the mechanism is seized up. I mean, it's certainly working a bit better than it was. Probably does need opening up. I've no idea how you get into these cleaners though, this particular model. But I think at least eventually it's all going to go in. It did, as I said, it came in to my home from a very cold van, which wouldn't have helped matters. Um, there is a little bit of dirt in here. Now, yes, you turn it to position two to... Oh, that's not worked again. Oh, I can see this being very frustrating. If somebody actually bought one of these, I think it's position two or is it three? Oh no, you turn it to position three, I think. So now we can get the box out. There will be a little bit of dirt in here, obviously. So now I've got to turn it to position two to remove the lid and you can see the little bits of polystyrene in there it's not too bad but look at all the dirt that is around here around the top just from that very brief little demo so yeah if I was to do a big mess test with this I think it wouldn't <laughs> do very well as I said I will do a demo with one of these models and it possibly will be this one. But yeah, can you imagine? I'm sure that this would clean up um, very well, you know, in a, I think, as I said, I think you can put it in a dishwasher. I'll just check that first in the instructions and it should restore it to uh, full performance again, but I don't know how long it would have lasted. Look at that, can you just see the Hoover logo embossed? A bit hard to see with this lighting. But I'll give this a bit of a, a vac out with another vacuum cleaner before popping it away for the time being. Um, just having a quick look. I think there are some screws actually hidden under this seal at the front. If that seal comes off, I'm sure there's some screw holes there. You must be able to separate the top half from the bottom half of this cleaner. I wonder if there's anything, ah, oh, and look, yes. Couple of, couple of screws here as well. Hopefully that is all I need to remove. Looks like there's gonna be six screws and then hopefully, fingers crossed, that should just lift off and give me access to the uh, cord rewind mechanism. It might just fix itself over time it's going to be stored away much better than it was. It's still quite warm. But yeah, pretty pleased with it. So whoever decided not to complete their purchase, it's gone to a good home. Oh, that, that'll do for now. I don't really have to go too mad. It's clean enough, isn't it, that? And um, pop. But I think it's a very flawed system, this. <laughs> I can just see it. Although we saw, you know, with an empty box, it's very powerful, suction-wise. Um, if 
but yeah it's gonna clog up isn't it it's gonna clog up and this is very, <laughs> this is very awkward I just can't remember how it um, I think is it position two no position three is it oh dear just getting this on and then popping it I think it's position two that's it position two to put the lid on and then you turn it to position one that's up that's it to hold the lid in place before you slide it back in the machine then you press down the lever until it clicks well there you go there's the hoover discovery another attempt at hoover to make a bagless vacuum cleaner as i said a bagged version much much better than the bagless it probably would lose a bit of suction but not like this and it would be much easier to dispose of the dirt with the bag now i believe you'll see the video it's an old video on my channel the amigo pets version i believe it had a, some sort of a bag ejector where the lid came off and the bag came with it as you pulled the lid off the bag door off the bag was attached and then you press something and the bag came out much simpler method of disposing of the dirt but anyway it's a nice thing to have from hoover's heritage from hoover's past obviously better than they are now but uh, nowhere near as good as some of the old hoover cleaners that i featured on my channel thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions about this hoover discovery please comment below and i'll see you all very soon bye for now